Hello again. Philips and Sony jointly worked on the creation of the compact disc, releasing the first ones in August 1982. CD manufacturing capacity around the world was very limited at the time. Uh, record companies were unsure if this would be a popular format and didn't want to invest in expensive new plants. RCA Europe signed a deal with Polygram to make CDs in Hanover, West Germany. RCA Europe wanted to get the world's first CD out and Roger Seaman in the UK was asked to prepare 60 songs covering Elvis's entire career to produce a three CD set. At the time Polygram controlled how all CDs were to be packaged as they wanted to create a clear brand for the new format. RCA Europe announced that the set would be a limited edition of 5000, uh, they would be numbered and the three CDs will be housed in a card cover. The number being on the cover and also on a certificate that will be included. You may be wondering why RCA USA allowed Europe to be the first to release an Elvis CD. <coughs> well they were having the same problems with production. Every label wanted its current artists and its uh, popular back catalogues pressed into CDs. The manufacturing plants were rationing work for various companies. Uh, RCA USA did a deal with Nippon Columbia in Japan to press discs for them. But, uh, RCA Europe was ahead of the game. The set was released in November 1983. Number one was presented at Country Music Hall of Fame and number two was used for promotional work in the UK. The set quickly sold out and they received orders for another 10,000 copies which of course they couldn't fulfil. However, somebody in RC, uh, on RCA Germany decided to produce another 5,000 sets, but this would have silver packaging, and it is said that some in RCA Europe were not happy with this decision. The 60 tracks were also then split across four individually available CDs, which were sold as Elvis the Collection Volumes 1 to 4. So here we have the original box. As you can see the number is here and uh, this is 336. <coughs> now I wasn't able to get this at the time because uh, however many appeared in my hometown they very quickly disappeared so it was only later that I was able to get this. So there is the certificate Disc one. Two. And three. And I'll just show the actual disc. Originally, RCA Europe had wanted the um, issue number to also be on the disc, on a sticker. But uh, nobody could guarantee how the stickers would degrade over time, whether it would affect the disc. And so they dropped that idea. And of course each one has a little booklet inside, which contains the basic information on each of the songs. And some of the other compact discs which had become available. So that's the very first Elvis CDs ever produced. You can find sets for sale <coughs> um, three to four hundred pounds I've seen them. But keep an eye out because I picked this one up quite recently for £70. Now the set that I originally bought 
was the silver one. I went into town one day into the record shop and there it was on the shelf. So this was my first compact disc purchase. The boxes always get a bit scuffed up like this. Now it is exactly the same except this time you've got the certificate in German. It actually says on there 7000 so uh, the information website that I looked up got that wrong. But as they'd received orders for 10,000 even 7000 wasn't enough. And of course all the discs now have a silver cover. But the same actual compact disc inside. And in the same year they began the release of Elvis's catalogue, so the first two discs that they put out and of course the first two albums. And on the edge you see it the, oops, the blue and the sort of various shades of blue on the edge. The thing to look out for is this the serial number starts PD. So all these early Elvis CDs, the original releases in the 80s. Mm, if I can get it in focus. Mm, anyway, it's PD. And they also have the little compact disc on the cover. So I've been slowly collecting all the 1980s original releases. Which you can, they are starting to go up in price. I think people start to realise that uh, they are collectible still need three I think which I will track down <coughs> so uh, that's the two original boxes and of course you end up with big collections everything that I had on album I then had to get on CD uh, today I went into town for my uh, eye test and I thought I'd pop into the local HMV now normally there's not a lot there for Elvis they have you know the usual Elvis orchestral albums and where no one stands alone that's normally it and not a very good selection of CDs <clears throat> so I was surprised when I went to the CD section to see that it grown to about four times the size of the last time I was there so I had a quick flick through and pulled out several that I wanted to buy and the ones that I was really surprised to see there is that Sony Legacy $13.99 now obviously today legacy $10.99 so I actually ended up spending about £70 on various CDs but uh, I was surprised to see those there so I shall have to keep a closer eye on that shop um, of course also the uh, disappointing news that Elvis didn't the Elvis movie didn't get any Oscars. I'm not surprised. Um, the establishment in both uh, music and film do generally seem to have quite a low opinion of Elvis. That's just the way it is. Um, that's it. Uh, I had a, an email this morning that uh, the new Elvis FTD vinyl has shipped, so it'll be uh, probably within the next couple of days. Um, and that's it for now. So, till next time, bye for now. <laughs>